Hi Homeschool Planet users and potential users, this is Robin. We get lots of questions recently about whether you can create your own lesson plans if we don't have lesson plans already created for your curriculum. And the answer is an absolute resounding yes. We were a standalone planner long before we began adding lesson plans to the marketplace. So I thought today I would show you how to make a straightforward, but with a few bells and whistles, lesson plan. To get started, I wanna orient you to a couple of the different pieces of lesson plans. So this lesson plan for Rosetta Stone exhibits these first two lines that you'll notice do not have check boxes like these down here do. That's because these have been entered as notes. That means they will come at the top of a lesson plan and will not have a checkbox. Underneath that, you'll see a resource link that I've added to each page. You can recognize a link by the two arrows, and I'll show you how to add one. But in this case, we wanted it to be at the top, so it's entered as a resource. Then you'll see there are two distinct assignments for that day because they were entered as two assignments on the same day. And they have a check mark for my students to mark as complete. Down here, you'll see a slightly different link that comes underneath an assignment. That's because this is a link that is specific to just this assignment. So with that, let's get started. We're going to go to our lesson plan library and scroll to the bottom and select the button, create my own lesson plan. You'll get a pop-up with some instructions and a little info about lesson plans. If you don't wanna see that every time you make a plan, just click this right here that says, don't show this message again, and that will stop popping up. You might wanna leave it the first few times. Then I'm going to click okay. I'm going to enter first a title for my lesson plan, and I'm gonna call this Spelling and Vocabulary 5. I'm also gonna decide how many days a week I would like this lesson plan to run. And for me, five is perfect because in our home we do spelling and vocabulary five, but I can set this anywhere from one to seven days per week. Next, I see all these different tabs and I'm gonna start with my assignments. I could choose to just enter an assignment on each day and then add a grading category if desired. I could also add websites, upload files, assign resources, add a extra assignments to the date just by clicking here. Then you'll see I have these two lines. We have seen so many amazing user created plans. If I want to simply add the same thing to each day, I can add it here using this line and it will auto-populate auto my entire lesson plan. I'm gonna make something a little more complicated than that, so I'm gonna choose the assignment generator. Here, I'm gonna see several different options for different situations. In this case, because it's spelling and vocab and we do a test every Friday and we look up in the thesaurus on Tuesdays, I'm gonna go ahead and choose my assignments follow a recurring pattern and hit next. Then I'm going to say that I'd like my assignments to begin in week one of this lesson plan and that they will run for 34 weeks, five days. So I'll hit next. Whatever I enter into these lines up here, I'll be able to see how it populates in the lesson plan so I know exactly what I'm getting before I click OK. Because this is spelling and vocab, I am going to tell my students on the first day of each week to learn their new words. On the second day of each week, I'm gonna type in that I would like them to look up antonyms and synonyms. Then they're gonna practice using those words in a sentence on Wednesdays. They're going to study all their words on Thursdays. And then on Fridays, they're going to complete their quizzes for both vocabulary and spelling. Now I'm gonna decide which days, if any, I would like to add grading. I do not need to add grading, but I can. I'm gonna give my students a homework grade for their antonyms and synonyms. I'm gonna give them a homework grade for practicing using them in a sentence, and I'm going to give them a test grade for their tests 
on Fridays. I also would like to make it easier for my students to look up their words, so I'm going to add a link on Tuesdays. So I am going to tell the software I would like to add a website, and then I'm going to enter in the URL or the web address of the page I'd like them to go to. I don't need to enter a title, but if I would like to, so that they will see what I've decided instead of this, I can just enter a title and that will appear on their calendar instead of the HTTPS address. I can then adjust the behavior of this pop-up if I'd like to. I almost always leave it at the preset defaults because they work for me. So I'll hit save. And then I'm going to look this over and I'm pretty happy with it. It's just what I would like it to say, no more, no less. So I'll select OK. It's going to say, is this what you want? Yes, it is. It will now add those 170 assignments. And you'll see right here, this shows me if I ever want to check what the link for each day is. I'd also like a note across the top so my students know what week they are at. So again, I'm going to, now I'm in the Notes tab, I'm going to choose the Assignment Generator. I'm going to say my assignments follow a recurring pattern. It is also going to be 34 weeks long, beginning on the first week. And then I'm going to just put in the same text for each day because this is all I need them to see each day across the top. If they're in week one, week two, week three, I could add page numbers, I could add all sorts of things. And see how this now goes week one, then it moves to week two, week three, etc. Again, I could choose whether to add a website, a file, a resource, but I really don't need that for this plan. So I'm going to click OK. Once again, it will add 170 um, notes to my pattern. Next, I'm going to go over to the grading tab. And I have added grading categories for homework and test. That's why they are not grayed out. So I'm going to give my kids 50% for homework, and I'm going to give them 50% for their test grades. This does have to equal 100 in order for me to save the plan. If I'd like to upload a description I've already written for future reference, I can do that, or I can type one in here. I can also come back later and print that if I just want a list of my different course descriptions. I'm not going to track hours for spelling and vocab, but I could, and if I wanted to use one of those links for every day of the plan or for a longer series, I could do that here. Finally, I can look at options and decide what to do on days when there is not an assignment. It doesn't happen to be the case in this class, so it doesn't matter. And if I want to limit the number of assignments that appear on their calendar. I'm pretty happy with what I've done so far, so I'm going to hit Save and Close. And now this lesson plan is available in my lesson plan library. So I'm going to go ahead and apply it. I'm going to create a new class, including all assignments. I'm going to term this language arts. And I'm going to assign this class. Actually, I think I'm going to assign it to myself just to make it easier to show you. And I'm going to hit next. I'd like it to begin my next school year. It does not need to be at a particular time. Yes, I would like to include the grading I set up. And now my lesson plan is on my class. To see it in isolation, I'm going to look at just things assigned to me. So here is my lesson plan all laid out each week. I hope that helps. There are lots more bells and whistles. And again, we have seen basic lesson plans. We have seen fancy lesson plans with lots of links and lots of resources. We design the software to work for you. And if there's any way we can assist you in finding out how to make a lesson plan look like you would like, please reach out to us at support at homeschoolplanet.com or use the help button up here and select contact us. Have a beautiful day.